was only a lad, 10, 11, the youngest son is at most, when I first met Gideon Black. He was at Papa's Tavern, his crew while on bar stool, the captain no shadow that fact. He reclined in his chair, picking teeth with a dagger, and grabbed this young barkeep by the shirt. Listen up, kid, he said as he patted my head. Why, this land life is less than your worth. <laughs> so he grabbed my right arm and then raised my right sleeve, took that dagger from between crooked teeth. And then into my skin, he carved a map that scarred in high relief. <laughs> Set out, he said, in two dozen harvests, when you've grown to twice this size. When the proportions are right and your skin is still tight, you'll find the emphasis on. And with those words, Black left the coast and quietly sailed away to the edge of the earth and an early grave, ne'er seen after that day. Which is why you're here, some 20 years hence, having earned your way into my crew. For what Black saw in me in the back of that bar, what I now see in you. So welcome aboard the Devil's Flail, my ironclad beauty all draped in mail. The vessel that stormed a thousand forts, broke a thousand hearts, more than as we Though today we sail for greater glories, to be sung in taverns, told as bedtime stories. For the Empress's eyes are in the finest of prizes. The right offers great power, and the left disguises. Red sails to the east! Red sails to the east. <laughs> it's the feather track fleet. See, they dot the horizon like some spotted disease. You mean you've never heard of the Regent's personal guard?
So come on, then, men, stand not idly by. There are mountains to climb, though, one at a time. The one we ascend first, I'll leave for you to decide. Right to great power, or left to disguise. Break up, he said. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting this message. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 